Hello, and welcome to this SimScale tutorial on the Workbench and CAD import operations. From the dashboard, to open a project, we can open the project directly into the Workbench. The Workbench is the main application of SimScale for conducting simulations. The Workbench is used to import the geometry, to set up the simulation, to run the simulation, and also to post-process. Okay, so on the right-hand side of the pane is the main window for interacting with the model. There's a couple of tips here for how to use the mouse. A click and drag will orbit the model. Holding down the right mouse button and moving the cursor up and down will zoom in and out as will using the scroll wheel. If you would like to orbit around a specific part, click that part and then drag around it to orbit around a specific part. If you would like to pan the model, hold control and then use the left mouse button to drag the model across the view window. The rendering of the model can be changed by changing the view mode in the top of the screen. So we can view with perspective and we can also change whether we're viewing surfaces or just the wireframe of the model. And there's various selection tools for selecting bodies or faces. And there's a box selection tool. A useful shortcut for this is to press the B button and then drag the mouse cursor to do a box selection. The right click context is also very useful for selecting different things that you want to do with the selection. So you can select all, clear selection, invert, isolate, hide, invert visibility, or show all. For example, we could hide a component and then go back to showing all. The cube in the bottom right allows us to navigate the model as well. So we can select face normals. Also, if we get lost, we can use the home function to go back to the home view for the model. OK, so now we've looked at the basics of how to navigate a model. Let's look at how to import a new geometry. If you go to the left hand pane in the tree, we can see this geometry that we've got here. Let's import a new one by pressing the plus, And this takes us to the import geometry dialog. There's a direct connection with Onshape, or we can drag and drop virtually any other CAD format into this interface. So I'm importing a parasolid now. Assemblies can be imported by having all of the assembled components in a zip file. OK, so here we can see our geometry imported. And we've already got this geometry set up ready for a symmetrical analysis. There's various CAD operations that we can now perform on this geometry. And as this is a flow simulation, we're going to want to extract the fluid volume. So by clicking on the extra icon on the right, we can choose some of the CAD operations. So we could do a open, in a region flow volume extraction in this example. This opens the dialog box for us to select the various faces. First of all, we select the boundary faces that bound the fluid flow. And then we need to select one seed face. Now the fluid volume extraction is complete and we chose not to keep existing parts. We just have the fluid volume now. Moving on now to a couple of other points specifically about the workbench. In the bottom left hand corner, you can see the status of different jobs that have been run. So we can see that we've got a successful completion of the geometry operation for an open internal region. In the bottom right hand corner, you can access the in product chat so that you can contact support. If you have a private project, then all of your data is secure and private, but you can choose to share a project with support by ticking the share project with SimScale 
support checkbox. You can also share a project internally within your organization by clicking the share icon up the top and entering the email address of the person that you want to share the project with. And you can say whether they are view, copy, or edit users of that project. Also up here, you can copy a project and edit a project settings as well. Okay, that's all for this section. Thank you for your attention.